What is up YouTube and welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we will be doing how to price your jewelry and how to price your crafts for your business. This is a very high requested video that a lot of you guys have been asking for me to grow up to do. So we're gonna be covering it today. We are in a different setting because I am at work. Um, if you guys don't know, I am a teacher as well. So we are gonna be using our smart board here to break down pricing. If you all have any further questions about this topic, make sure you guys drop them down in the comments so I can make a video dedicated to your request. So if you guys do see me looking at the door, um, often that is why okay i really want to put like a little board up there because because yeah these kids be looking real hard real bad all right y'all we're just gonna leave it like this if they stop if you guys see any like dramatic pauses throughout the video that is why so let's go ahead and get into it so a lot of you guys always ask me you know i want to start a business but i don't know how to particularly price my jewelry so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the example of a kit that we do provide here at christine creations which we do restart and relaunch in june of 2023 so let me break down one of the packages that we may offer for you all to start your own business so if you go with the package that starts you at a hundred dollars this includes 25 bracelets Fifty charms, fifty split rings, and we're going to start adding packaging to ours so it comes with fifty bags. Okay, so this normally that this probably is like a seventy-five dollar kit. So let me be realistic here. So this kit is actually retailed for $75. So you invest $75 into this kit. And again, this kit comes with 25 braces, 50 charms, 50 split rings, and 50 bags to put the braces in, okay? So when you break this down, this kit makes 25 bracelets, for well, 25 bracelets with two charms on each with which is a standard bracelet style okay so in this instance you will be able to make 25 bracelets with two charms on each which is a standard bracelet in my opinion or if you want to do 50 bracelets you can do that as well so what we're going to do is we are going to Hope I got a calculator. Give me one second. <clears throat> All right, y'all. I'm back. So with this, this is going to be 75 divided into 25. So that makes, so that's 75 divided 25 equals three. So $3 would be how much your base price is for your braces. So in order for you to at least make your $75 back, you will at least have to charge these braces for $3, okay? So we know here, this number, equals i would say i'm going to call this our base price break even price is what it's called break even now when you break even you're not making a profit so break even means you made just enough you whatever you invested is what you made back so you're not profiting so that's a lot of issues that a lot of you guys are having with your jewelry business that you're not profiting because you guys are not pricing higher than your base or break even price okay so again we're gonna go start back from the beginning so this kit includes 
25 bracelets, 50 charms, 50 split rings, and 50 bags. This kit alone is priced at $75. That's not including shipping. Okay, just being realistic here. So this kit makes you 25 bracelets with two charms on each, and your break-even price is three dollars. Okay, so if you want to just make back what you spent, it'd be three dollars you will charge. But that's not the goal here. All right, we want to make a profit. So in order, and this is gonna be our profit, profit. You want to do three times whatever much. So if you want to make three times, three times it, two times it, whatever it is, you're going to times three by that amount. So we're at three dollars right here, and we're just going to times this by two. Okay. So three times two is what? Three times two is six dollars. Okay. So. Six dollars is the customer's price, right? So this number equals customer price. All right. So in order to figure out what your net profit is, what we're gonna do, and we're doing net. I wonder if I can make this. Wow. I can't go back. Okay. All right. So we have our net profit. That will be three minus six. Well, in essence, it'll actually be six minus three. Not three minus six. So you'll be subtracting the three minus six, which of course is $3. But I wanna make sure I give you all the proper. So that's three minus six, three minus six. So six minus three, okay? So six, oh. Six minus three equals three. So this number becomes net. So three dollars will be your net. So that means it costs you three dollars to make the bracelet. You chose to mark it up times two, which is six. When you subtract your break even price, which is three, from that six, it's gonna leave you with a three dollar profit. So let's come up here. So profit, all right? So that's gonna be six times 25. We're gonna make it, we're gonna make it simple. So six times 25, six times 25 is $150, all right? You're gonna subtract the 75. To track 75 which gives you a $75 profit so if you take this kit of course we're gonna go back from the beginning you're gonna take the kit the kit original price is $75 this kit can make you 25 versus the two charms on each so when you divide 75 into 25 that gives you three dollars that's your break even price again break even means you this is just how much you make it back what you spent in essence okay so we're going to go move on to the profit so you're going to go three times whatever number you can insert here it could be two three four five six seven eight nine ten but in this case we use two which equals six so that is the customer's price which is six dollars okay now i want to figure out what our net profit is we're going to take that six because we charge the company the customer six dollars we're going to minus that by three it's going to give us a three dollar profit per bracelet that we sell so up here it's basically the profit equation. We spent $75 on this kit. We made $150 by selling it, these 25 bricks for $6. That's gonna leave us with a $75 profit because what we're gonna do is we're gonna take 150 and we're gonna subtract 75 and that's gonna give us 75. So in essence, if we was to redo this full equation, which we can do, I'm just gonna circle. 
Boom. All right. So we're gonna do this one too. We're gonna circle this up. So we know cost. Oops, excuse me. Cost per bracelet is three dollars. So we know three dollars regardless. So I'm gonna show you guys a couple different ways. So we're gonna do three times four, which is 12, if I'm not mistaken, let's double check. Cause I am not a math magician, I can count money. Okay, three times four, again, it's 12, okay. Cool beans. So we know this is 12. So this would be the customer's price. which is $12. So we know this is break even, break even is three. So now we're gonna do 12 minus three equals, 12 minus three, 12 minus three is $9. This is the profit. So this is how much you're gonna profit. So an easier way for you to do this equation to see what your net pro net profit is. So net, we're gonna do nine times twenty five equals times twenty five. That's two hundred and twenty five dollars profit. So this, let's change the color. This is your net profit. So you will walk away from this kit. This $35 kit can make you $225 if you sell all of your bracelets for $12. Okay? So hopefully you guys, that makes sense. This is a basic equation that you all can use to plug in. So I'm gonna go ahead and write this equation out for you. So you're gonna do, there's two steps. So you're gonna do break even. Break even times how much you wanna make back. So let me get this out of the way. So you could put whatever number you want here and this will equal out to your customer's price. All right. Now, once you got your break even, whatever that is, you want to move on to the next equation. The next equation will be customer customer price minus break even. And this will give you profit. To get your net profit, you're gonna take your profit price or profit amount, dollar sign, I'm just gonna put a dollar sign, and you're gonna times that by quantity. So how many do you have of that item? Y'all can't spell, but y'all know quantity, and that's gonna equal your net income. All right, so this is what you want to get to. Your net income is what matters because that is what you're pocketing. But you're going to have to go through these three equations to figure out what that number is. Now, whatever, again, here, you could put whatever number you want to put. And for this instance, we had put four. Okay, we're going to do three times four. Because we want to make two times back how much we spent to make it. Three times back how much we spent to make it, okay? Then you're going to go down to your profit. You're going to go back to... Your customer's price here, you're gonna minus it from your break even that's up there. It's gonna give you a nine dollar profit. To get your net, you're gonna times this number by your quantity. So in this case, we had 25 bracelets. So this number can be swapped out. The quantity, this number can be swapped out for every, however much that you have, okay? And that is gonna give you what your net income. 
all in all guys i hope this video was very inf informational for you all i hope you guys learned something from this video if you guys have any more questions make sure you guys leave them in the comments if you guys need me to go over something else let me know if you need some one-on-one -on -one help make sure you guys sign up to be in our facebook group as well as i do offer one-on-one -on -one trainings as well to help you all jump into this jewelry and craft industry this billion dollar industry where you can make your own coins sis, on your own time so make sure you guys let me know what you think about this video and if this was helpful down in the comments make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and join the fam and i will see you guys in my next video